Hey, hey, guys! Here is Bankisha with another Halloween special video just for you. And I am here again in the same costume as you saw in my other video, or maybe you didn't see me in that costume at all in the last video because you didn't watch it! And you should go and watch it. Yeah? You go do that for me? Thanks. So, we are here with another horror game. The last one I kind of maybe saw a tiny bit people play it, so it wasn't as scary as I would have wanted it to be for you guys, for your entertainment. Still, those jump scares do get me. But, um, we are gonna play The Last Door Chapter 2, and I promise you that this one I haven't watched. So, it's gonna be, like... Surprise scares everywhere. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, new game. Oh, uh, what? Uh, sure. I don't know. I don't know. Enable, disable, dyslexia friendly font. I don't understand. Let's just continue. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Are you gonna move by your own? Oh no. Well, uh, we are inside of a church, apparently. What is this? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Very sexy over here, uh, but he's in pain. Um, you want to take a nap? You you probably do. You, you look kind of scary over there. Um, I don't know why my mouse is being kind of slow right now. Give us each day our daily bread. So I'm sorry for the slow uh, computer right now. Whoa, are you gonna like hit yourself and stuff? Like for, um, well, whatever you call it. Like some in some religions or in, in some really like intense religion uh, practices, religious practices. Ah, can't speak. Uh, <laughs> they do that, they hit themselves so that uh, their sins may be purified and sort of punish themselves for their uh, sins, yeah. Forgive, uh, forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive our de de debtor. You say it like that? Yeah, I knew it. Ouch! And lead us not into temptation. No, do not lead us into... Oh, temptation. But deliver us from evil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, amen. And I love the crows. Again, I'm going to point that out. Karasu in Japanese. Original music by Carlos Viola. Very nice music. Keep going. Keep going. I'm not gonna skip. You can check out this awesome, these awesome, awesome people. English localization. Be beta test testers. Thank you. Without you guys, this game would be not that great because there would be bugs, like in my last, one of my last games that I was playing. Woo. Made possible by 450 generous players who donated. Thank you guys. And I bet the uh, game designer thanks you as well. Now tell me, where are you? What do you see? I see darkness and I see text. And I hear something. Ooh, yes I am in darkness. What do I see? I see a graveyard. A lot of mumbling, maybe like ghosts talking. Maybe it's not a graveyard. I'm in a forest. I don't know. Who's there? 
Oh. Who is it? Is it him? Anthony. Answer me. Didn't we meet Anthony last time? Anthony. Uh, whoa. Well then. Anthony is gone. Mate. You gotta stop doing that. Gotta stop popping up and disappearing, man. It's not cool. Oh, who is that? What is she doing? Get close to her. Get close to Anna. But Anna is not... Is dead. She's not supposed to be here. That's not Anna. Lies. Whoa. Okay. Am I seeing, like, all of their lives? And, like... In tr trying to interact with the dead. When I count to three, you'll wake up. Was I sleeping? Was I dreaming? Why, why, why was I in that place? One. Please wake up. Two. Whoa. Crow, get out of my face. Wake up. Good, good. Okay. That was creepy. For my dude, he was uh, not really having a nice dream over there, uh, more like a nightmare. You can rest now, Mr. Devitt. That will be enough for today. Thank you, my therapist. Are these sessions really necessary? I am confident that this is the best course of treatment for your symptoms. I do not know what your symptoms are, but... This is the best course for your treatment. Now, did you ever see him again? Who, Antony? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? Oh. It looked like an eye. It was like an eye, perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying pain filled screams I've ever heard inside a complete darkness where oh, an evil dwells deep below. A forgotten fear for human reasoning but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. In my case, that fear has already woken. I can understand why you are disturbed, Mr. Devitt. With your permission, I would like to consult on your case with a colleague of mine, a man I've known for many years, who is more versed in modern psychological practices. I don't know why I'm talking like this with a weird accent, but it sounds nice. <laughs> I think his knowledge and experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. Yes, seeing eyes is not not, an, not something normal. If you think it would help, doctor, I leave it in your hands. The agony grows incre increasingly unbearable. And if you believe this man can help, then I welcome his aid. I want to be cured. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. Oh, coincidentally, his name is Wakefield. A field of waking up? Oh, I bid you good evening. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I kind of like this. this. Oh, Anthony, my friend, what really happened to you? How could you have your... Let your wife Anna die so awfully. My my accent is slipping. Yeah, don't judge. He he's like in another dimension now. These doubts consume my soul. I hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates. I don't even remember uh, we were schoolmates. I confess that beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall little of those years. Were your words a result of an increasing loss of sanity? Did you really go insane? In your letter you wrote that someone awaits me. Who is that someone? A warning to ward me from a genuine danger? Or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind? Adult 
by sanity, insanity, you? Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily until... until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Why do I have to go into a school? Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beak Beechworth. Rest now in peace. I'm sitting in front of my window, contem con contemplating everything. Sitting in front of my fire, cozy and grilling inside of my house. I'm taking a nap, sleeping. I'm going, going. And I've arrived the school. And what do I see over here? We shall see. Memories, chapter two. Yeah, scattered, just like, just like the writing that we saw of memories. An old, quite damaged mailbox. Um, do you have anything for me, mailbox? No? No, nothing? There is a postcard inside of the mailbox. Well, let's see it. Oh, I cannot read that. Scribbles. Time has damaged it. Dear Matthew. Oh, apparently he can read that. Dear Matthew, it has been several months and still I have heard no news from you. Matthew. Ah, oh, you should write back. Yeah. My brothers insist that you have abandoned me, but I am sure you remain true. You have not abandoned me, have you? I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London. Do not ask how I had to, to go about, sneak about and like get, like, get the nurses to turn away from me and from the papers. And then I sneaked a peek into those papers and I saw your address. I wrote it down on my bare flesh. And now I sent you this card. I got this address from there and pray that it reaches you safely. If that's the case, I want you to know that I will be, and I want you to know that I will be always waiting for you. Forever yours, Juliet Holloway. Love? Is it love? Is this love? Love. So beautiful. Oh, there's a statue. The angel Gabriel. I guess I see some wings there, like the wings are, and that's his back and those are his wings drooping towards downwards, maybe? The school's emblem is Angel Gabriel. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. Well, should I clean it up with my tongue? Hmm, guess not. Oh, what do we have here? A stone eagle lies on the floor. Where did that come from? I bet Medusa came over here and turned eagles into stone. They gazed into her eyes with desire for her. And then her eyes and her snakes decided it must turn to stone because it's a male. But actually, it not only males turn to stone, according to the legend, so... Anyways. It appears to have broken off of the fountain. Should I place it back then? I guess it's a good idea. It doesn't really look like an eagle. Whoa. Can I not put it back? I guess not. Hmm. Well then. I guess we shall be going... This away, not inside. Whoa. Ooh, wow. Oh. Okay. Let's 
Someone's digging up a grave. A locked wood coffin, badly finished. It seems that whoever made it was a bit rush rushed to finish it because they want someone buried alive. Oh, this time around I can talk to someone. Are you gonna die? Good evening. I, you did not hear that, mister. Good evening. I hope you're right and this indeed be a good evening. My name is Devitt. I didn't know there was a cemetery here. My pleasure, Mr. Devitt. I don't know why other characters sound more like a girl than a male. Eh, whatever. Girly males. For the win. I'm Frank Baldwin. Don't ask me why, but Monsignor specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Why? I do not understand. Did he order to bury corpses here? Why? What is there to understand, Mr. Devitt? God has forsaken his, this place. Ah, you don't know. How could you not know? Insolent fool. Ignorant fool, I mean. You should know better. He we take care of patience. Hmm. Well, I am an old alumnus. I used to attend the school. I did not know that you treated patients here now. It has been a long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. The building is now used as a nursing home, run by nuns. Former student, eh? What is your name? I never heard anybody in the village speak fondly of the school. Are you lying by any chance? They say it closed overnight, though nobody knows why. Not a lot what was known about it. Hmm. Excuse the un interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I I'll leave you with your work. You don't know what you're saying. Have a nice evening, alumnus, Devitt. Oh. Um. Uh, hopefully you're not gonna kill anyone with that shovel over there. Grave. Recently dug. No shit, Sherlock. No schnitzel. And those ones? I'm guessing they're also... Oh. Wooly schnitzel. What is here? Hey. A piece of old fishing net. Well, that might come in handy. I mean, it's uh, one of those games. Give me that. Ah. Have a net. Yeah. Well then. There's a hole here. I must investigate every hole. That's what she said. Um. <laughs> Many years adrift have perfectly smooth this flotsam into a small log. What? Flotsam? Floating thingy? Give me that. Of course, this log will come in handy. Everything will come in handy. It's all gonna make sense in the end. The Lost Pilgrim, a sea stack older students at the school used to climb. Somewhere up there are my initials. I guess I want to see them. How can I go about and see them? Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna see them. Or am I not going to see them? That is a question. Ah, pardon me. Ah. I, I've i only slept actually four hours. I had like a, a Japanese uh, test today. You know, I was preparing for that. Yeah, so um, right now I'm not feeling that tired, but I am yawning a tiny bit just because I did have only four hours of sleep. I am sorry. So this small group of graves has been half sir half the half half hazardly half hazardly half half hazardly maybe anyways arranged mm. i guess they were in a hurry hurry to kill off everyone all the students or something like that from school mm. well then let's go in can i go in through here no the door is locked from the inside 
Well then, I guess uh, we're going in through the front door, aren't we? Let us move on. Is that, uh... Okay, hi- oh. She looks kinda... nice. Busy as well. Scri scribbling stuff. Pardon, uh, excuse me, sister. Uh, you are mute. Oh, I understand. Okay, good evening, sister. I, I shall do the talking. Oh, you are not mute. Good evening, I am Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr... Oh, you do not have a name, do you? Oh, oh no, you do have a name. Devitt. I'm a former student of this boarding school. Mm, mm, okay, um... As you can see, Mr. Devitt, this stopped being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. Would you wish to pray with us? Come and pray with us. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I do not wish to pray. Um, uh, may I please speak to... Oh, M Mr. David. I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. Oh, if this was not a religious setting, then I would maybe allow myself to say a couple of insulting words on your side, but I'm not gonna say them. In addition, there's little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed. Everybody but Monsignor, of course. Who's this Monsignor? Exactly. I asked, who is it? Not, okay, whatever. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. Devitt? Is it because you are very religious or you want to find your religious ways now? And, um, uh, pardon the coughing in the back. That was my dad. Uh, he's got a bad cough. Um. This place will help me remember. If you have memory problems, I would recommend you to visit a doctor immediately. And don't waste your time here. You can't figure anything out over here. Except for religious matters. It'd be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. It would be a good idea to visit the place again. Perceive the passage of time. Are you insane? What are you talking about? To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is. A lot. You see... Well, uh, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Devitt. I'll allow you to stay here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, Mother. And now it passed from, mother to, from sister to mother, yeah. Thank you. Oh, why did you leave your coat outside, mister? My coat. I know it's your coat. Let us see. What can we find here? <laughs> hmm. Flagellation. A dusty old tapestry of Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms that looks like Anna with her baby. Why did she, did, he, did she have a baby? When? That looks kind of creepy. Even though I know it's Jesus or a saint. Oh, hi, I'm sorry to intrude upon your, your sacred uh, abode. Good evening, sister. Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is not a place you should be in because there are only women allowed in this quarters, sister. All this suffering, all these tears, all our prayers unanswered. What 
What do you mean, sister? Speak up. All these years, entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. And every day, I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? What for? Where are you, Lord? Aren't you supposed to be very religious? Why are you questioning where your Lord is at? Why don't you answer me? Hmm. Maybe there is no Lord, sister. What shall we do then? What is our living purpose? I can go on, not like this. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Well then. On the upper shelf of the antique cupboard, a well-worn Bible and rosary beads gather dust. I guess she hasn't been praying much. One of the humble beds where the nuns sleep. Uh, do you want to sleep over there? A syringe next to a flask with a label that says morphine. Oh, it's an old lady, an old one. Taking morphine for her bones or something. Oh, poor her. Yep. Yeah. I guess she's in pain. Should I ask her about that? Can I ask her about that? Please, I just want to be alone. Okay. I shall be on my way then. Worn out faded, a faded tapestry of Jesus Christ. Told you. Wait. Why can I not move towards the right side? There we go. Now I can. Why couldn't I do that before? Oh. Why is this one drooping on the ground? I remember from my school days the student dormitory was here. Student days, I mean. I like the music. It sounds like piano play I think there's some mystery behind this tapestry but it won't allow me to do anything hmm no yeah well then um I shall be on my way through this store and find more nuns whoa Oh, showers. Okay. I thought it was like a, one of those torture rooms. I'm like, why is there a torture room in this, uh, in this church? A broken mirror. This, there is a protu pro 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 protru protruding piece. Anyways. The old rusty pipe communicates with other areas in the house. And why do I need a vat? There is a puddle in the shower hole with something shining under the grating. I can't see it properly. I want to see it properly. No? Okay. Lens? Hmm. Oh, whoop. Tap of the shower. Just a couple of old towels. Nothing, nothing to see there. Poorly maintained. Hmm. Well then. I guess we shall be on. Let us be on our way. Let's move on. Move on. Let's move it, move it, move it. Let's move it. Let's, let's move it. Ooh. Lady, you're still here. I am glad to see you again. Mr. David, these rooms are for our private. But... I wish to go in. Oh. Fine. I'll go this away. Maybe my room is going to be there. Whoa. Okay, there's people over here. Juliet. Juliet, where are you? Doctor. I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. Pay him no mind. He has been delirious for some days. I'm Miss Mary Vinge, and this is my brother, Matthew. Juliet, <coughs> why have you left me? Wh 
Why don't you answer my letters? Oh, that's the guy that was writing the letters, I think. Or, oh, I can give him like the letter that I um, received. You see, the poor man is still obsessed with his wife. He won't accept that she left him months ago. My poor Matthew. I'm very sorry, Miss Vinge. I hope he recovers. I hope so too. Thank you. How about a postcard? Mr. Vinge, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it to me if you'd be so kind. As you can see, my brother is too weak to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see who has written to you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. Dear Matthew, I hope you are recovering. I wish that, oh, your beloved sister and you come back home soon. Um, do you remember the good times we used to spend at why is she... You know how alone mother feels since you left. Oh, she keeps like on reading. Oh. Am I supposed to read that? No, I guess not. Miss Vinge is making up the letter's contents. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna talk to you. To her. Among the baggages, I can see... See a packet of letters <laughs> bound by twine. Well then, let me have all of those. Shall I? Seems like we have a lot of letters here. My letters! All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never posted them. But why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> How could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You really, you refuse to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. <gasps> Sister, why did you get into his way? That's so mean, the love they have between them. Her only interest is in marrying someone of your status, of our family status. It was for your sake I did this. No, he loved her. You should have just let him do whatever he wanted to. Even though you wanted to protect her, him from the woman's treachery, how do you know the woman is treacherous? No, you only thought about yourself, of your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. No. You dare banish me? I, who have stayed by your side all through your illness. Very well, Matthew. You will have your way. I will leave you, and then you will see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. See what you did? What I did? Thanks be the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. No, I can't take coins from a dead, dying person. Oh, if it's a lucky coin, then maybe. It is my lucky coin, though I hope it serve you better than I has it has myself. Well, I hope it can uh, help me, you know, go against the uh, the demons of this world. Bunch of medical reports. Well, tell me what, what he is suffering from. Picture of Saint Camillus Lely, patron saint of the sick, hospitals, and nurses. He seems to have forsaken this place. Yeah, because he is sick. Everyone is sick. Oh, there's another person. A magazine entitled Weird Tales. Can I have it, please? Oh, fine. Photographs of people, most likely family and friends, of this bed's previous resident. Previous resident? Gotten better? Or died? Maybe it's the person that just died and he, they're putting him in the coffin. Who knows? 
What happened to you? Are you all right? There was a rhythmic sound, like breathing. But when? Last night, I felt an increasing pressure on my temples. Something dry and rough like tree bark brushed against my leg, and I saw something on the wall, like a growing shadow. I lit the lamp and there was nothing. Madam, are you okay? I have seen some weird stuff, but I mean, who knows? Who knows, right? He is quite a pale young boy. He is asleep. I shall let him sleep then. Please help. What happened to you? Please, someone. Piety. I am sorry, you cannot be here. Is there some way I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after each and every one of our patients. He will provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray there, next to the statue of Our Lady. Fine, I shall pray. Maybe. Am I, uh, is my character religious? I don't know. Maybe? Don't you think she is beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Are you a lesbian? Come on. Even if. I mean. Ah, oh, you're not gonna pray. Supposedly portrays a sympathy and compassion for me in the eyes of the Virgin Mary. However, she se seems to look more pained and sorrowful here. Hmm. I see. Well then. I shall be going, yeah, to the next room. Whoa, are those coffins? No. I remember that we used to keep here some textbooks. Now, there is a music box. Ah, oh, can I play it? Oh, I can't. But I want to. Please? A music box. Probably it belonged to one of the new, uh, one of the students. They still keep all of that even from before? Hmm. Some of our textbooks are on this sh sh this shelf. Dear brother, I have received your letter and I'll try to write you more frequently. I hope you are studying a lot and you feel comfortable there. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father is in bed with fever and I do not feel very well, but I'm on medication. Everyone is being sick and everything. Today is my birthday, and I am feeling blue. It's a quiet and boring Sunday at the village. Mom is going to cook a lemon cake, as those that Grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Are you dead, brother? Right back soon. I'm looking forward to knowing how you're doing, what you're learning. How is Scotland and so on? A, a big hug. I think about you a lot. Your dear sister. There's a lot of sisters around here. Is that sister alright? Oh, I like the carpet. Nice red carpet. Let's see. I wonder how long this video is. Because I don't know what time I started at. But I should probably... I'll read this. And then I'll stop here. And then we'll see each other in the next one. Let's see. January 15th, 1876. Uh, I can't read. I promise. Father Ernest seemed unusually troubled today. Several times he paused abruptly in the middle of a lecture for no reason, even during his favorite, favorite class, theology. I've never had a class of theology. I don't know what that is. I think. January 18th, 1876. Today, Father Ernest was very irritable. Collins made a comment and was expelled from class for it, and even Devitt was admonished just for reading a philosophy book. 
I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire towards me. My father will be disappointed if I fail to get good marks. January 21st, 1876. It was very disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. Ew, sweaty. My palms are sweaty, but all like a sweaty everywhere is kind of like. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled, dazed, and had to sit. January 22nd, 1876. Is this, are you like stalking this teacher and you're like making this in, in secret, describing his every move? You're a spy, aren't you? Father Eugene taught our theology class today. Even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest. When we asked him what had happened to Father Ernest, Father Eugene told us that he had taken ill. What worries me is that now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. Maybe there's something to do with his place and being a teacher. February 20th, 1876. It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. He's not coming back, is he? We're told that he's still sick. But if he is so ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging, but I have taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps, as I must succeed in spite of the problems happening around us. A lot of things happening around you. February 23rd, 1876. It was announced this morning that the school is to close. None of us know why, and we can't get a straight answer from the faculty. Maybe it has to do with the teachers getting all ill. If you don't have teachers, then you cannot study, you cannot have a school. They each dodged the question, and I am starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. Their anxiety is palpable, though they try to hide it behind a calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I hear he alone is to remain after we vac vacate the premises. There's a picture in the diary. It's a photograph of my graduating class. I see myself, Father Ernest, and Anthony. I don't remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. The one on the right side. You guys see that? The third one from the back from the right. Why has he been erased? I've already read that, so. Theology is the most dominant thingy, subject. There is an old sentence written on the board. In death there is hope. In death there is life. One must seek, seek its true nature to understand the nothing. It looks like it has been there for years that the chalk has faded in some places. I guess that is going to help me figure out more things to come. And with that, I am going to end this video here. And um, I don't worry, I'm going to come back with another episode. It's just going to be chopped up into pieces. We're gonna see what happens next. So far it's been a lot of story and not a lot of scares or not a lot of figuring out all this mystery. But we shall see in the next one. Until next time! Yeah!